Hi, so this is explanation of a practice number 13 of Soccer Aikyo Academy Winter Camp uh, and today is focus on attacking and um, please know that this is attacking, this is not about finishing right now we're talking about how to create scoring opportunities and when you're talking about creating scoring opportunities we want the players to be creative of course we constantly want to move and open and offer themselves for the ball or open the space for, your, for the partners that's very important too because we can't just stay by the defenders All right. so that's also kind of leads to another one as a combination play so we can create small combinations, you know, uh, give and go, overlap, etc. And all this constantly movement uh, and combination plays, that's all gives us sup numerical superiority uh, in uh, certain areas of the field. So we're looking to create numbers up on the wing, in the middle, doesn't matter where, but we want to create it and then we we'll use it. Meaning like numbers up, meaning like two defenders versus three forwards, two forwards versus one defender, you know. And all of that is extremely important to do fast because otherwise defenders going to reorganize. So speed of play is extremely important here. So with our younger group, uh, as usually they're going to go for skills and then when we want to be two, three, three, and then they're going to do simple activity which we've already done before where there is two blues against two reds and one neutral yellow and um, basically the goal is to score into these goals but we're looking we're always up 3v2 so can we make here 2v1 play small combination and score okay we, if it's easy to score, then we will score by dribbling, not by passing, okay? So, simple game, but a lot of things can do. We can overload one side, again, if this is blue, having the ball, you know, we can make a run here and make it 3v1 here. And as soon as this player moves, can start going this way, right? So, the... Options are unlimited here and uh, just be creative and be fast with your decisions and movement without the ball. Movement without the ball is extremely important here. If this player just plays the ball and stays back, well he will receive the ball back but there is no cre uh, creation of a scoring opportunity. Okay? And then the younger player is going to do this and this exercise also older players going to do as exercise number three. Younger players are going to play it here, and it's very simple. Coach going to stay, this is a coach, going to stay, play the ball to one of the So there are three defenders and three forwards. Uh, and then this forward just staying chilling out right now, waiting for their turn. So the coach plays the ball to defender, any of them, and if this defender receives the ball, he plays to this forward, and he cannot defend, he has to run around this cone. The cone is here red. Go around. So while he's running, we're attacking three against two. And this is ch this guy is chasing. Okay? And that's becoming three of three. So while we have three of three versus two, we need to do it fast and again make runs, spread out and finish. We don't want to wait till this guy comes and it's 3v3 and it's much harder to score. So there is a lot of work here on taking this ball at the defenders with the speed before this guy comes back. Okay? Extremely good uh, exercise. Very simple but very good. 3v2 and one is chasing. This distance coach is going to make it bigger for you younger kids and smaller for older kids so in the last time okay so we're finishing finishing we can put goal and we don't have to put goal we can put just small goals it doesn't matter uh, the point is that we need to really finish it okay but the idea is again combination plays 
simple but very efficient activity to make players think what they're gonna do. Okay, and then as soon as they're done, defenders work all the time. These forwards go at the end of their line, new three forwards get in, coach throws an out ball to defender, to any of these defenders. That defender plays the ball and goes around. Okay, simple but very good and fun exercise. But requires a lot of thinking and how to open up. Not easy exercise at all. So coaches might adjust the numbers. It might, for example, take one defender out completely, so it's going to be three v one defender, and then one is chasing. Okay, that activity also been done will be done by, uh, by older kids. So this is over for younger kids. For older kids, they will start with one v one, two v two, three v three. Then they go to this activity, which is very simple. It's four v one rondo. Depending on the number of players, they're going to be, set, you know, there's a nine squares here, all of them eight by eight. Are they playing just 4v1 rondo? After four passes, the fifth pass is going to be to a adjustment square and the whole group moves. So they connect four passes with monkey two. And then the fifth pass must be to a different square. And they can end up being close to each other. So we can go, of course, to each other's square, we need to go to an empty square. So again, you play the ball and then you open to another space. You look around. Just like normal, if monkey wins the ball, he is not monkey anymore and uh, the player who lost the ball becomes a monkey. So simple, but again, this is about playing the ball and finding an open space. On a pa four passes inside the small area, then go out to a new area. All right. Should be straightforward, um, not uh, very good exercise for uh, looking for the space. Then coming back to this exercise, three v three with you know one is a dragon defender is a chasing. Uh, yes, if defend by the way, if defenders here win the ball, I put here these are the goals. They can they win the ball, they can put it in the goals. And we can keep the score against defenders and play defenders. Okay? Obviously, everybody will play defender. They, they move this line. You know, coach going to tell after you know, a few times, switch defenders center because we don't have specialty yet. You know, everybody should know how to play as a forward and as a defender. Later on, your team's going to. All right, and the last exercise for all the teams. It's very similar. We're going to do here 4v1 or 3v1. It's up to coaches. Here. And then we will have one forward or even two forwards with two defenders up to coaches, depending on numbers. So these guys move the ball. And after four passes, they play the ball to the target who are going to. And then they support two players. Two players support so it becomes. 4v2 for example, okay, or we can go free player support and this guy defending. And then there is another square right here where as soon as they finish this square starts to play and then play to the same target players. These target players stay the same so we can make them, for example, yellow. And two defenders just stay here, target players checks in, the ball from this square comes and then two, two Defenders come, I mean, two forwards come in from that square and we go. So, again, we're playing short. Let's go with this short combination play here in the area and then play to the target and support him. Okay, so this play to the target and support him. And then we're attacking with target players, they are forwards. So, we're going 4v2, for example, or 4v1. Whatever you want, or 3v1, it's up to coaches to decide what's the best option here. To the goals. Again, goals doesn't have to be big, can be small goals, doesn't matter. The idea is this. Okay, so this is the practice. I think it's a lot of fun practice because it's about building defenders and uh, finding the space and opening up. Requires a lot of quick thinking. Everything has to be quick because otherwise uh, defenders are going to win the ball. 
especially this exercise is not easy exercise it's pretty difficult and we you need to play very quick um, ball and try to finish okay so quick thinking and the player I'm talking about not only player with the ball thinking but the players with the ball actually making runs movement again creativity constant movement constant movement and then create combination plays constant movement is extremely important so while you don't have the ball it does mean you stay in watching and just receiving the ball here there's no reason to play that ball here because that doesn't get us advanced we want to get advanced all right so when you don't have a ball be active make runs create situation and don't be afraid to fail uh, meaning if we lose a ball we lose a ball right now we want some creativity and uh, uh, take a risk in this area because if the risk works you're going to score so if you if it doesn't work you're going to lose the ball but the other team still has a long way to go to our goals so don't be afraid to lose the ball to uh, be creative this is SIQ practices is your place to learn and uh, learning cannot be without failing so failing is normal if something doesn't work uh, you try and something doesn't work but keep trying and don't worry about it and coach is going to help you how to get better that's the whole idea behind, behind these practices we don't have teams so it's not like you're going to be on the sub if something doesn't work just get better that's your focus remind you that in the end of March we'll start our spring training which will be focused on uh, uh, the same activities as well but also we're going to do position specific training meaning like we're going to teach you how to play as a forward how to play as middle fielder how to play as a defender and we're going to address different areas you know for these positions the idea is that, that hopefully that will help you to um, prepare better for tryout. So this is the last SIQ session for the winter camp. I want to thank everybody, especially players and their parents for your time tr and trust in Soccer IQ Academy to teach your child to play proper, proper soccer. I hope this camp was useful for the child. I hope players learned a lot on how to play and the most important I hope they enjoyed the training this is the key to success to always enjoy the training uh, parents thank you very much for trusting us I also want to thank coaches for their dedication obviously without them SIQ wouldn't exist okay so want to say that our spring and summer camps are open for registration so uh, the spot, the space is pretty limited uh, on some camps, especially spring has been filling up very quickly. So please go ahead and um, register if you want to participate. Um, this is the website where you can find all information. If you have any questions, info at siqacademy.com, one of the emails. Any email which has SIQ Academy in it is will work for sure or you can directly email me if you know my personal mail toilet.rupsoft at gmail.com okay but it all goes to me so that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed and i hope your players gonna show different level of understanding of soccer in spring season and as uh, your coach is going to be at the fields quite a bit so Hopefully they will see the players and will be able to watch some of the games. Alright, thank you very much. Bye.